Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to another Magic of the Gathering Arena gameplay video and today I'm going to be featuring a Sultai control list that was piloted by Josiah Hamilton in a recent Star City Games tournament. Um, I believe this was last Friday. Um, so this is a Sultai control list. Sultai is probably, probably uh, my favorite color combination. Um, so as I was going through Twitter, um, and going through some recent tournaments, um, I I took a look at I took a look at this tournament and then this deck list because um, Soltai is again one that a, a color combination I just really enjoy. Um, I, I really enjoy that color combination. So when I saw that, immediately piqued my interest. I took a look at it um, and then started testing it out. And I thought you know I should uh, showcase this deck off for you guys. Um, so you guys can all have a look. I will leave a link to the deck list in the description as well as a link to the league and the standings so you guys can check check uh, check out all the rest of the decks um, for yourselves. I mean, of course, the four color Omnath deck was uh, heavily uh, heavily featured, I believe, in in that tournament. Um, yeah, there's yep. I mean, that's four four. I'm counting for one, two, three, four. Yeah, it looks like there's four uh, players who piloted a four-color Omnath deck. So, anyway, with that, with that being said, uh, let's take a look at the deck. All right. So, um, one drop slot, uh, Blood Chief's Thirst. Okay. Sorcery. Wish it was an instant, but it is not. It's only a sorcery. However, it's one one black. One black for a sorcery um, with a kicker cost of two and a black. So it reads, destroy target creature or planeswalk with converted mana cost two or less if the spell was kicked. Instead, destroy target creature or planeswalker. Um, again, the versatility on these, kick, on these kicker cards is really nice and very, very useful. Um, can come into play at literally at any point in the game. Um, only thing that would make it better is an instant, obviously. Um because obviously everything is better at instant speed, but the cost, the cost for this is, I think it's a great rate for this uh, and for this effect. Um, in the two slot, we got quite a few cards. Um, of course, Heartless Act, got the full play set of Heartless Act. One in a black, instant, choose one, destroy target creature with no counters, or you can remove up to three counters from target creature. Again, that versatility um, is, is nice. However, sometimes the removing the three counters doesn't kill a creature um but um but again that's kind of why we have other options in the deck um but however Heart heartless act is still a great card um agonizing remorse uh one in a black for a sorcery uh, target opponent reveals their hand you choose a non-land card from it or a card from the graveyard you can exile that card you choose one life again versatility very very nice taking the card out of their hand, or I can exile a card from the graveyard. Um, again, getting Uros, Kroxas, anything with escape out of their graveyard. Very nice later in the game. Beginning of the game, take a look at their hand, kind of see what they have going on, remove uh, hand disruption. Okay, very, very nice. Negate, counter spell, instant, one in a blue, counter target, counter, nine creature spell. We're running two of those in this deck. Uh, frantic inventory, uh, one in a blue. Again, the, the full place out of this, and this is a very nice draw card. Uh, instant, one in a blue, draw a card, then you draw a card, equal to the number of cards named frantic inventory in your graveyard. Um, again, the potential in the late game to draw four cards is... It, 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 <laughs> It's fantastic, in my opinion. It, it is it is a fantastic draw engine in the late game, um, early game. It will it will at least cantrip, so you it, it will at least replace replace itself in your hand. Um, but the the potential and the ability to add multiple cards um, is is again is again a nice thing to have. Um, three drop slot. We're running one mystical dispute in the main. Um, let's pull up the sideboard here. Um, we're running one Mystical Dispute in the main uh, full play set of Neutralizes. Um, all right, let's actually go over Mystical Dispute here. Uh, mystical Dispute, instant counter, two in, a, two in a blue. The spell costs two less to cast if it targets a blue spell, so potential to be three CMC to one CMC, very nice. Um, if you're targeting a blue, which a lot of the times, I feel like a lot of the times with this card, I'm specifically holding on to this for a blue, for a blue card, a blue spell. Um, that way, you can get that discounted rate. Um, but if you're not targeting a blue spell, you count you counter the target spell unless it's controller pays three. So again, it it is an instant. Uh, excuse me, it is a soft soft counter, um, but still a counter nonetheless. I neutralize one and two blue counter target spell. Sim simple simple counter spell. However, it does have cycling. So again, you're trying to dig for a specific answer. You have that cycling on it. So full play set of that. Okay. Um, the first first of these. Uh, 
modal my word i can never i, I can never remember the the uh, technical term i guess for these um, modal dual face card mdfc's there we go modal dual face cards all right um all right so the front side balagate recovery um it's a sorcerer you can return target card from your graveyard to your hand the back side is a land is a tapped green land okay um one of the things that i don't think i actually mentioned about these modal dual face cards um uh, it, it, it interacts, they interact very interesting. Um, so for example, with Uro, which we're going to go over next, um, Uro, so that clause on Uro where when you draw a card and then you're able to put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield, well, this does not count as a land card. So with these modal dual-faced cards, um, the front side of the card is actually the, the, um, the type of card that it, I guess that it references or that it looks for. Um, so, for example, with Uro, you could not put Balagid Recovery, or excuse me, Balagid Sanctuary onto the battlefield as a land. You would not be able to do that um, because as Uro reads, you may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. This is technically not a land card. It is a sorcery. It has the ability to be played as a land, um, but only, um, for, only from your hand when you are... Man, I don't even know how to actually um, to properly articulate it. Um, so I'm just gonna say right now that um, with that interaction for Uro, um, you can't you can't put it on the battlefield. You can't search it up as a land. So like if you had Hours Promise or Hour of Promise, I believe, um, search for any land card in your in your deck or in your library. Excuse me, you would not be able to you would not be able to pull this as a land. Um, so it, it's an interesting interaction. Just, just to keep that in mind. Um, it, it actually, it, it really more, it really comes into play in the deck building. Um, so that's kind of really where you want to pay attention to that. Um, so going off of that, we have the full play set of Uro. Okay. Uro one green and a blue Uro ETBs sacrifice unless, unless it's been escaped when he ETBs or attacks, gain three life, draw a card, then you put a land card from your hand on the battlefield, and then also escape two green, two blue, and then you gotta exile five cards from a graveyard. Uro dominating the format. Um, I'm recording this on Sunday, so I'm really interested to see what the BNR announcement is gonna be for tomorrow. I'm really interested to see kind of what 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 uh, what Wizards does. Um, so very, very interested to see what happens tomorrow. So definitely gonna be keeping my eye out on that. Um, all right, so um, I'll probably make some type of video about it. But regardless, be interested to see what uh, what shakes out tomorrow. Uh, four drop slot, three extinction events, uh, board wipe, quasi. I mean, it is a board wipe, but it it, it may not wipe the entire board. Um, extinction event, sorcery, you can choose odd or even. And you're going to exile each creature with CMC cost of the chosen value. Zero is considered even. Um, so again, uh, the potential to... Mostly, you're gonna wipe half the board. Um, obviously, it's obviously board state dependent, um, but still, Hagra Mauling again, another one of those um, dual faced modal modal dual face cards. Excuse me. Uh, front side is an instant, so again, you got the front side being an instant, back side being land. Two and two black an instant. It costs one less to cast if an opponent controls no basic lands. All right, and then you just straight up destroy target creature. So it is basically a murder um all right so so there's that and then we go with five drop slot we have ashiok two ashioks nightmare muse three blue and a black legendary planeswalker plus one create a two three blue and black nightmare creature token with with whenever this creature attacks or blocks each opponent exiles the top two cards of their library um minus three return target not only permanent to its owner's hand then that player exiles a card from their from their hand so that minus three uh potential hand disruption um, especially when they have little to no cards in hand. Um, and then that negative seven, you may cast up to three spells from among face-up cards your opponents own from exile without paying their mana cost. I think I've only ultimated Ashiok <sighs> since he's been in standard, or since it's been released, maybe like two or three times. Not not very many, um, but it is, it's nice. It, it's nice. It's fun to do. Very fun to do. Um, Ashiok, I really enjoy uh, that Ashiok, all right? Um, okay, rest of the cards, we got Shark Typhoon. We all know what Shark Typhoon. 
five and a blue enchantment. Uh, good old Sharknado over here. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, create an XX blue shark creature token with flying, where X is that spell's CMC. Cycling with X, one and a blue. And then when you cycle Shark Typhoon, you get to create an XX blue shark creature token with flying. Um, again, that versatility. Uh, Seagate Reborn, Seagate Restoration, the blue mythic uh, modal dual faced. Uh, front side is a land, so this is one where... Uh, excuse me, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I apologize. The front side is the Sorcery Seagate Restoration, 4 and 3 blue. My bad. Um, draw cards equal to the number of cards in your hand, plus 1. And then you have no max hand size for the rest of the game. Then that back side is the land um, where it has a potential to enter untapped if you pay that 3 life. All right. And then we have one Ugin, the Spirit Dragon. Um, again, I feel, like, I feel like in the meta... Anybody who's running a control list is running Ugin at the top end of, at the top end of the curve. Um, it's just a great control finisher. It is a great finisher. Period in any deck. Um, a lot of times, if I see Ugin, I know I'm dead. Uh, there's really no point. Um, to be honest, um, obviously there's corner cases where you may get out of something, but a lot of times you see Ugin. It's you get you're gonna have a hard time getting getting it getting out of that situation. Um, from what I've seen. So mana base, you got two islands, a swamp, two forests, um, three of the Clearwater Pathway, Murkwater Pathway cards, the the Demir uh, dual lands, uh, how many temples? Three temples of malady, two, three temples of mystery, four triomes, and then four fable passage. And then in the sideboard, we have another blood chief's thirst, three eliminates, more removal, scavenging ooze, again, uh, removing... Uh, susceptible cards in their graveyard three wilts um, for uh, artifact and enchantment removal through uh, the rest of the play set of the mystical disputes two elder gargaroths and then two shark typhoons uh, the, the elder gargaroth three and two green uh, vigilance reach and trample whenever he attacks or blocks you get to choose one you get to create a three three green beast creature token you get to gain three life or you get to draw a card so again a lot of that versatility in these higher end um, mythic mythic cards um so again so that's the deck um that's pretty much everything you know I, i've enjoyed it um so today we're going to go um, best of three we're going to do a couple of best of three games and kind of see how it does so with that being said let's get into some games yeah i do know oh man i don't want to go we are definitely going to play first here um Well, I actually think I'm going to keep this. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep it. Um, I like I like the four lands, and then I have got a cantrip, and then a board wipe. So I'm I like this hand to start with, and we start with the scry land as well. Um, yeah, we are going to bottom that. Don't need another land right now. The persecuted. Oh, nice. Kind of, I kind of like that name. Very nice. Interesting. Um, okay. Black. Blue. Yep. We'll go with the blue blue side here. And then with all these lands. And with that on, we'll go ahead and pop that off right now. Okay. Counterspell. Red. Okay. I do I do like the Gaia's Cradle card backs. Okay, with that being said, hmm. I want an untapped land here. Cause that mystical dispute draw was nice. Cause if we see Omnath right here, oh jeez. I'm actually going to let this go because I have an extinction event. Yep, I'll take the two and no land. Ah, oh, perfect. Um, we'll go Fabled Passage. We have the black. I'm actually going to... We have another blue... We have an island here. So with that being said... Gonna get a forest. So we have the black cast extinction event. Auto pay. And we will choose even double. I'm double checking. 
double checking because I don't want to choose the wrong one. That it's always a feel bad. Okay, that was a good play. Especially on that miss land drop last turn. Okay. Uh, I believe we have an odd in and even. Okay. This is not bad. Okay. Well, I'm going to need... Yeah, I don't think I can let this resolve. He can't pay the three. So we're gonna we're gonna do mystical dispute here. Can't do anything about it. That's just too much damage this turn when he play, makes his land drop. Yeah, that would have been an, an additional two. That yeah, I would not gonna be able to take here. I think I'm gonna cycle this neutralize. Yeah, I'm gonna cycle it. I need another board drop or board wipe. Excuse me. Five. That is p seven potential damage next turn. Okay, so this is not bad. So that Uro draw is actually good. How many lands are we at? Two, four. We're at five right now. So now we'll be at six. So six, seven. So I can Ugin potentially next turn. So we'll uh, Uro, excuse me, first. Okay. Um actually do that I will crack the fabled passage getting another mm, yeah I get another blue here I'm holding on to see I'm holding on to that and then now so these are basically the same thing I'm actually get, gonna get going to get rid of this one yeah we're gonna get rid of that one And now, we'll play the land. Two, four, so we have seven. So five damage incoming. Nine damage incoming, nice. I did not even think about that. Okay. All right. So I think... Actually, I think what I just do is Ugin. Yup. Again, minus one. And you will grow lost to his side. A brush fire elemental, I'm dead. So that may not have been the right play. Okay. Number one, we will plus two. Number two, blue, blue, green, green. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Definitely want to keep the extra frantic inventory gain three up to five draw so I have to play it as a blue source see here's 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 an instance where you've I have this uh, dual faced I, I have to play the front side so I will do that next and end turn Uh, you know what? I will do it now. On end step, draw two. Got it. Plus two. Deal the three. Attack. Gain three, draw. Put land on. Um, man. Yep, we will do that. And then I'll probably cycle the Triome. Um, what do I have in the grave? 
Okay, no permanents that I really want to return right now. Okay, we're both at eight. All right, we got there. Got there, game one. Um, all right, so Gruel. Gruel Landfall. Um, boy. What do we want to do? Yeah, I think we need... Yeah, I think we need more removal. I think I think we value removal over... Um, uh, countering. So we're going to drop the recoveries. Don't think we need those. We're not getting milled. Um... And then I think we even I actually I actually think we dropped the agonizer remorse. Um, maybe we just drop one. Yeah. I think we just dropped the one. I don't think I need Gargaroth. Yeah, I think I think I think we go as is. I think we go like this. We run back. We run it back. Oh. I'm actually going to keep this. Um, I have the one black that I need for a Heartless Act and Blood Chiefs, and I have a counter. Although it's not a creature spell, so... Oh, man. I didn't even think about that. No, I think this is fine. I mean, plus we have two... Yeah, just two extinction events. I really don't think I can pass this up. And then it's a scry land, so I'm I'm out okay with this. Being on the draw, too. Yeah, I'm okay with this. I think it's the right play. The right call. Yeah, and then we get another removal. Land, perfect. Perfect, perfect. And then I got all the colors. I got all my colors that I need, so I'm good. You're going to have to go. Blood Chiefs. Bye-bye. Number one. Uh, next, we will play the island. Okay. Okay. This can be, could be bad. All right. Uh, so we have an even then an, then an odd. Uh, so which one do I take out? Um, first of all, which side am I going to play? Well, that's actually a good, very good question. We have the one restoration. I'm probably not going to even get there. So I'm probably going to use this for the, for the black side. Um, so we have instant. These are... It's an instant, so what we're going to do is we are going to play out the restoration tapped and then say go. I think that's what we do. Okay, opponent. He has that fabled passage. Oh, man. Yeah, that's fine. I'm assuming he's going to... Put it on the Hellhound. Okay, so he puts it on the Cobra. Okay. Oh boy. You got it. Okay, so I can board wipe next turn. So I'm actually going to take this and just see what he does. I'm assuming he's going to crack these in the main. Okay. Or excuse me, during during attacks, he cracks. So that's going to be an additional two, four, eight. An additional eight damage. Which one do I want to take out? I'm just going to take out. I'm probably going to take out the Cobra. Because he's going to be dealing the most damage right here. And then we will see. I'm going to see if he. 
he has enough for um, the sword, Ember Cleave. He has enough mana for it, but we're not even going to get there. So we will destroy the Cobra. And this is why I kept this hand. Sacrifice. Man. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. It's still not enough. Because he's going to be dead next... Or... Yeah. Hellhound's going to be dead next turn. I mean, that was a lot of damage. Don't get me wrong. I mean, that's an instant. So I think we just say go. And now we do it. Since he's already used his mana for the equip. Yep. And we say go. Drawing another counter is not bad. Hellhound. Do we want... Oh, he doesn't have haste, so... I think we'll let it resolve. Yeah, that's fine. Then I actually think we'll cycle one. Okay. Uh, odd. Odd. We have the blue. The blue that we need. Okay, so one cantrip. Do I do it now? Do I do it now or do I just do it at instant speed? I mean, if, what can I draw? I mean, I could draw a land. So we'll just do it at instant speed. That's fine. Don't need to do it now. Yeah, and then I think I just counter this. I don't want him to one ramp and then draw the card. I mean, I could exile it with this extinction event, but... And then... We cast Frantic Inventory. There we go. This is good. And then we go here. Plus. And say go. Alright. And before we do attacks. Plus. Got it. And say go. What do we exile? Ember Cleave and a Hellhound. Or I think we exiled a Hellhound from before. Simulacrum. He's even. Yeah. Just don't want him to get that extra card, to be honest. Was it worth it? Maybe, maybe not. Oops. Yep. One, two, next. Still have Heartless Act available. Oh, and another inventory, nice. I mean, I don't have, oh, I have a Questing Beast. Brush Fire, you got it. Doesn't have Trample. Uh, no, I think we let it go. Yeah, that's fine. I'm fine with that for now. I just want to draw. Okay. Oh, I. you know what? That was my mistake. That was my mistake. I forgot he can't block by creatures with power two or less. So that's fine. Next. Then I think we have Blood Chief's Thirst here. I 
I still don't have an extra green, which is fine. I have enough power on board next turn to kill him. Resolves. I mean, okay. Yep. Good game. All right. That was not bad. Not a bad match. That was good. Um, yeah. I mean, this this match this matchup was just uh, very heavily in my favor. I feel like so. All right. On to the next one. Bum, 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 bum. All right. We're gonna play first. I don't think I can keep that hand. Yeah, sorry. Not with not with Ugin. I'm on the play. At least have a Blood Chief's Thirst. Oh, it's any card. I thought it was permanent. I think we'll keep it. And then we just say... Bye to Ashiok. Nice. The, the nice thing about having triomes in your opener, okay, is. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so you have all of your colors. You don't have to worry about it. Um, yeah. Well, I'm just going to keep him for now, leave him alone. I want to see if there's anything that's more of a threat like that. That is more of a threat. Yep. I would much rather take out the Aspirant constantly giving them counters each turn. We will play the Triome again. So now I have all of my colors. All combination of colors in the first three land drops. Very nice. Very nice thing to have. I can cast anything in my hand. Um, land. Untap land. Yes. Okay. So what I'm going to do is this. Front side. Get back. Blood Chief's Thirst. Auto pay. Fabled Passage. Oh, no. No, no, I'm fine. What I was thinking... What I was thinking was I only have one Swamp in the deck. Boom. And so I thought, well, I had already cast it. Ergo, I had already used a Black Source. Well, multiple ways to get Black Sources. You know what I mean? Alright. That was a good sequence. That was a good sequence, I think. Next turn, he would have... Yeah... That next turn, he would have been able to turn on. Turn that on. Oh, man. Um, negate. Okay, so we have counter spells. So he's a base, base one, one, and he gets plus one, plus one, one for that and that. So he's a three, three. He's got to exile how many? Two other? So he's going to be a 5-5. Five, five. Boy. Yeah, I think I have to do this. If he does that again, yeah, that's that's what's gonna suck. Okay, yeah, he's doing it again. So I'm gonna let him. Yeah, I'm just gonna let him have it. I'm gonna let him have it.
So he only has green right open right now. He does not have any white white open. We're cycling. <sighs> Ugh. Okay, that's good. That's a good draw. And those all go away. Enter's tapped. And, okay. Yep, you got it. Pass. I'm gonna keep the neutralize. Oh boy. Yep. I'm actually, I'm, I'm fine. I, like, I'm fine that I drew an additional neutralize. Another counter spell. Uh, this is a good draw. Oops. Okay. Um, okay. We have a creature. I would much rather get rid of the creature. Yeah. Because then he can't cast... And he drew one anyway. He's only a 1-2. I'm going to let him have it. Yeah, we'll pass. I don't want to do extinction event right now just because it's not worth it. Like, I get. I barely get any value. Yeah, he can do that. I, I don't care. He can do that. If I counter it, then he can. No, he can't do it again. Yeah, I'm going to let him have it just for an additional two. No, I'm actually going to, because I'm at nine, I'm just going to counter it for now. Then he cannot cast it again because he'll only have one other card in the graveyard, so he can't escape it again. Yeah. And then pass. So because I don't have the mana to cast something and to protect it, I'm going to cycle, neutralize one of them, so land, and another land. Okay, so I think we play land off the, the top, and we pass. Okay. You got it. Frantic inventory. Okay, so... No, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna cast inventory at instant speed. And again, leaving the envoy alone. He can't, he can't escape, still can't escape it again. Take the one. Um, we're going to crack this. And how many do I have left in here? Three. We will get a forest. And inventory. What do we got? What do we draw here off the top? Another Fabled Passage. Okay. No, I think we hold on. Do we hold on to the Neutralize? Yeah. It's really... It's the only protection right now that I have from those. Recovery. 
Interesting. What do I want to recover? A blood chief's thirst? Yeah. Okay, he has one other card in hand. So you know what I you know what I do? This is what I'm gonna do. Um, we are going to get back inventory. I need more action. Okay, so that's interesting. And then he can do that. So I will say, okay. I'm going to let him do that. He'll Sentinel's eyes. Make it a 5-5. Five five. Yeah, he, can, he could only do it once. So what we'll do is... Even. Again, not give him any targets. I don't want to give him a target. That's what I'm trying to do right now, because that's the only thing that I can really do. <sighs> okay. We're still going to choose even. Okay, so I don't know why he did that. I, I mean, he's, he's obviously trying to close the game out. I'm at six. I haven't gotten any of my arrow, any arrows, any arrows yet. Uh, I believe there's two basics left in the deck. Yeah, two. Yeah, I've got all the arrows left. I believe, yep. So we'll get another blue. Oh boy. We're gonna frantic inventory. There we go. So I can now, I can now cast it. Oh boy. I now have protection, but I'm not doing it now because I cannot, I can't protect it now. He has access to eight, five green, three white. Linden. Um, yeah, that's fine. You can have that. I don't have a problem with that. Shark Typhoon, that's a good draw. Blue, blue. My goodness. Um, passage. 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 Three, four, five. There we go. Five. Okay. And next. I mean, I could just agonizing remorse here. Yeah, because I can still do neutralize. We're back up to 12, so. Don't have a problem with that. Make him a 4 4. Make him a 4 4. You got it. Like that is not worth, that's not worth countering. A card that you can escape from your graveyard is typically not real worth it. Let's see if we can, nope, we don't want that. We can cycle that. Um. Nope. We just play, play it as is. You can take me down. Um, we're gonna go new. No on that. Uh, 
Um. I mean, I'll block. Can we do this now? Heartless act. Perfect draw. Cycle. And turn. Let's see what you do before. Daxos. Okay. Ah, uh, darn it. I did it the wrong way, but that's fine. Destroy you. Become a 2 2. You're going to gain one more. Got it. Yeah, you can do that. Doesn't give it lifelink now, it just gives it vig vigilance. There we go. Excuse me. Okay. You got it. Extinction event. Even. Odd. Again, two. So I think we'll do that. Do again. Eight, eight. Unfortunately, I can't do that. So we'll just do minus two. Yeah, I get rid of my sharks. That's fine. All right. Game one. Um. I think what I need is more removal. Wilt. Uh, do I need more enchantment removal? <sighs> Probably not a bad idea, but all the enchantment are... Most of their enchantments are auras. So I think what we do... I think we bring in a couple. What are we going to drop? I think we don't really need the recoveries, to be honest with you, because all I was doing with the recovery was the, the recoveries was getting back all of that single target removal. That's what I was doing. Scavenging ooze, yes. For any more of those escape cards. Um I'd much rather have the hard counters than those soft counters. I'm fine with that. So what are we going to drop? What are we going to drop? You know what? We'll drop the ooh. I think I think we'll drop the wilts mostly because all of the their enchantments, most of their enchantments, excuse me, are all auras anyway. Um so yeah, we'll drop those and two two others um you know, let's drop miss one mystical dispute. And then one extinction event. I'm fine with hanging on to the mauling just because it's more removal and I'm fine with more removal. So, yeah, we'll run it back like that. All right. All right, game two. See how we do here. And this best of three. Um. Only thing I don't like is having Ugin. In the opener. But I think I like it. I think, yeah, I think I gotta keep this. So we'll see. Triome, yep. We'll play the Triome off the top. So we can remorse turn two. Uro potentially turn three if we get an untapped source. Untapped land. And there it is. Um, blue. Remorse. Heliod. Archon. What do we have in hand? Oh, yeah. I don't want the Hel Heliod. Definitely no. Linden. There's second white. OK. 
Okay, so he has two white. He needs at least... There's all that glitters. Blood Chief. That's good. Yeah, you're gonna want that. So if he casts... He, he needs the one to activate it. So right now he only has three. So I think what we do is... Oh boy. We have the black. Yeah, so we need we need multiple blues anyway. So we'll do that. We'll go Uro. Gain the three. And then Fable Passage. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Ooh. I need to draw land. No, Hydra's growth. Okay, well. You got it. Mm -hmm. Um, we're going to get a green source. Green. Another arrow. Black. One. And then arrow again. And then a Fable Passage off the top. There we go. I like it. Even though we... I'm, I'm going to hang on to the Restoration. He still needs another white. He's not... He's mana screwed right now. I mean, I've got the blue and the black. I kind of want to pull that out. Um, yeah, we'll get... I, do I need double black? I don't think I need double black for anything. So we will... I mean, I guess we have the three. Yes, I do, right there. So, I think the play is this. Ashiok plus... There we go. I think we do that. Banishing light comes out. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's the. Ri yep. That's what I thought. Fine with that. Now that's three. So I think we go. Green, green, blue, blue. Uh, six. Hmm. I think we go like this. Let's do this. Blue, black, let's do. I don't really want to. I don't want to really get rid of a frantic inventory, to be honest with you. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have enough for where I can do restoration. We can do that next turn. If he plays out the Archon, we can Heartless Act. He plays out anything with no counters on it, we can Heartless Act. Yup. She's three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Yeah, I think we just do that. Get another card in there. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. We'll attack. All right. There we go. We got there. All right. All right, yeah, control games like this are, they take, they're, they're long. So we're going to call it in the gold. All right, well, there you have it. So play two best of three games. So uh, let's, uh, let's go to the wrap-up. I'll see you there. All right, well, there you have it. Uh, we did two best of three matches. Um, best of threes in um, control matchups. Um, and I 
feel like kind of both of those matchups. Um, the, I think the first one was more of a control matchup than the second. Um, second was uh, Boggles, right? Yeah, second was Boggles. Um, so, I mean, if you consider that control, it's control E control. It's got it's got its own control aspects to it. Um, but I mean, you know what? Some people like control. Some people don't. It's a legitimate archetype, obviously. Um, but well, let me know. Let me know if you like these types of videos. Uh, control uh, the the control decks. I mean. Um, so today was a little bit different. Um, I went with I went with a uh, um, a meta a more meta deck, um, and this one was featured in a tournament. So I wanted to check it out. Um, to be honest, I like I like getting the variety of my own creations, um, and then getting some metas, meta decks, and then decks that have um, done well in recent tournaments, and kind of showcase them off here as well. So that's kind of what we did today. So let me know if you like it. Um, give me a like, like if you like the video, subscribe if you think I'm doing a good job and you want to see more content like this. Um, I would greatly appreciate it. I greatly appreciate and covet you covet your subscriptions and your um, your comments. I really I really appreciate it, guys. Um, so thank you for that. And with that, I will see you in the next video. Peace.